I am on my way getting ready to go to Reynoldsburg, Ohio, where there's a TLR, the last Reformation Kickstart, that myself and a couple of friends, we're gonna go participate in. So, all right, so I'm on my way out the door. I know it's pretty dark. And I'm getting ready. Put my bags in the car. See you again once I go pick up Donovan and Epiteria and then I'll be on my way to pick up Nina and then we'll be hitting the road for about four hours. Talk to you soon. Heading out for last reformation in Ohio. We're excited about ministry and what the Lord is going to do this weekend. Donovan packing the car. Say hi, Donovan. And Tremiko's inside the car. And we're about to head out. I was trying to get the windy side. Today is day one of last reformation training and right now I'm in the car with Nina and Tremiko. We headed to the church right now, so stay tuned. We got some more video coming up. What thus saith the Lord? What is God really saying? Praise God. Because what good is it gonna do if you're out here? Um okay, so we're at Walmart right now. We're <laughs> in the middle of our kickstart journey and it's been lovely so far i'll introduce you to the rest of the group a little later right now we're trying to get out of the colds because it's cold here so what we're going to do is we're going to split up into groups myself nefeteria and tremiko and um, we're leaders a part of this group so basically we're just getting ready to just um get a little practice in so everybody feels comfortable so let's see what's in store see ya okay so all in the back right now you should be experiencing pain correct yeah, like okay and you said from scale to one to ten it's a four uh, yeah. it so, okay. and right now i'm gonna give him the command that pain to me right now and you tell me on a scale from one to ten if it's gone okay and i don't want you to lie it's not about my feelings or anything like that it's about you actually feel good again already right. so right here right over here yeah. so pain in his bag go right now i command all pain to leave of pressure, discomfort, go right now. I go breathe. I can make you go right now. So I want you to like move your back, do whatever, and I want you to tell me like how does it feel like pressure released or uh, yeah, a little. A little. So from that scale, you said four. What is it now? Because I'm we're gonna wait till zero. So it's zero. Uh, probably zero. Probably. Yeah. And you should be sure. Yeah. Like, are you sure? Yeah. So like, what does it feel like? Like your body just in general? I don't know. Like, I just always felt heavy. You felt heavy. Yeah. Okay. So I just want to pray for your lungs right now. 
I pray right now in the name of Jesus for his lungs, the heaviness to go right now, all blood clots go right now in the name of Jesus. All heaviness must go, 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 100% leave right now in the name of Jesus. All discomfort in his lungs go right now. Okay, 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 awesome. Okay. Nah, 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 nah. Okay. I'll just, just stop and ask if she had any pain or symptoms in her body. She did tell me that she had fatigue in her body and that um, there was aching on a, on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being graded. She said that her pain was at where to feel the time. Oh, so when we started to pray, I just felt a sense of like some, like some type of relief gradually and then she prayed again and like I believed it. Sometimes like, faith is really necessary. Yeah. So I actually accepted it. She left her hand on the floor and said, and she's like, is it gone now? I was like, I feel different. Like, I feel kind of lightweight. <laughs> okay. yeah. So it was out of 10. It went down to a 4. And like yeah. I said, I just asked if so, I could pray really quickly again. It yeah. doesn't take a whole long prayer. I just commanded the pain to leave, the aching to leave and for bacteria and infections to go. And I said, where are you at? She said, she doesn't feel different. Different. So are you lying? Are you just being nice? Or do you no, not I'm feel being anything? honest. So she's being I'm completely being honest. honest. She feels absolutely nothing. So we just wanted to just share this testimony that Jesus still heals. He's real. And we have a testimony here. God bless you. All right. Elise. Elise. So I'm going to pray for you. And I want you to open up your mouth and just start to speak um, I pray right now for Elise right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Open up with God for just speak. Lord Jesus, please help me find another job more suited to me. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Lord Father, we just thank you for Elise right now in the name of Jesus. Lord Father, we know that you are a provider and a healer. We know, Lord Jesus, that you can provide all of her needs right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord Father, you didn't bring us here on a coincidence at all, Lord Jesus. Lord Father, we just thank you for everything that you are going to do in her life. She already has been baptized in your holy name and in Jesus' name, um, Lord Father. So we just even right now as a So just a little recap of what you guys saw um, in Walmart. We had the opportunity to just grab some amazing testimonies of people really, truly being healed we are the lord's vessels like i said before we are disciples for christ and we are on a mission we are on a mission to change the world and we just wanted to show you guys that so stay tuned for more videos so this is day wait what day is it two. day two <laughs> this is day two of the kickstart we're about to um learn more about the holy spirit and do a little bit of baptisms today and we have one of our own trimico teaching so let's get excited <laughs> just say it because the word has power and what i realized is when we speak the word of god that power takes effect and people receive um one of the things i work in the campus ministry down at wayne state in detroit michigan and even with children and I pray with God, like, how can people receive the Holy Spirit suddenly? Because this is what I see in the Bible, right. but it's not what I see in my church. He just took me through scripture and left the word be water to wash all tradition out of me. And ever since then, we've been seeing people feel instantly. So yes. I'm going to start in the book of St. John. And in chapter three, this is when Jesus was talking to Nicodemus. I'm only going to read three verses here. In verse 3, it says, Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. So the first thing is, if you're not born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. Then if you jump to verse 5, he says, Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. So this is what it's about. How many of y'all ready? Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God.
considering we got big girl meals. <laughs> so we saw these Team Jesus shirts and we know we're not gonna find them in Detroit at a Walmart. So we're here at Walmart to hunt for them. And we're gonna buy four of them so we can walk around like a team that represents the park. Five people, and you're you're. It's 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 beautiful to watch. It makes me want to cry, um, because there's power in that. That's why Jesus prayed in John 17. <laughs> Thank you. 